Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Gravel, and I hope you're enjoying your time at home during this crazy, crazy time. I am coming to you today to talk about inferencing. And what is inferencing, you ask? So inferencing is when you take your background knowledge, which is what you know, and clues from a text, and you put them together to make an inference about what is going on. So today, we are going to take a look at a text, and we're going to read it together. And we're going to see if you can inference what you think is happening or what is being eaten in this text. So here we go. Mom, I need a napkin. It's melting, I yelled as I licked the sticky red juice off my fingers. Now take a minute and look at that text and think about what do you think that child is eating just by using what you have read for your knowledge. If you guessed a red popsicle, you're correct. Let's look. She says, Mom, I need a napkin. It's melting. Well, melting is a clue right there. What usually melts when we eat it? Well, usually it's ice, ice cream, or even a popsicle. And here it says, I lick the sticky red juice. Well, sticky red juice tells me that, oh, it's red and it's sugary. And then if you look down here, there's a picture of a red popsicle. So, using your inferencing skills, you see that she was eating a sticky red popsicle. Nothing else. We're going to look at this. We're going to read this out loud, so read it with me while I read it to you. Can we please, please go see the elephants first? They are my favorite, I said as we walked through the gate. Take a minute and think about that. Look at what we just read and try to see if you can figure out where this child is. If you guess the zoo, you're right. Let's take a look to see what textual evidence from the passage, passage tells us that it is the zoo. So it says, can we go see the elephants first? Well, let me underline elephants. If I think about elephants, where do I find them? Usually we find elephants at the zoo. They're my favorite, I said, as we walked through the gate. So. I'm going to underline gate. That tells me that they had to go somewhere where they had to be admitted into it. And usually that's a zoo or like a park. So I can see from my evidence that they are going to the zoo. If you guess zoo, you're awesome. All right, now you take a minute and read this to yourself. I want you to see if you can figure out what this is by using your inferencing skills. So I want you to take your knowledge of what you already know, use your evidence from the text to see if you can figure out what food this is. If you guess pizza, you're correct. Let's look at it. The cheese was gooey and warm. The sauce was spicy and the crust was so crunchy, it was delicious. If you guessed pizza, give yourself a high five. Let's look at our textual evidence to see how we know this is pizza. Well, it says the cheese was gooey and warm and the sauce was spicy. And let's not forget the crust. It was so crunchy. All of these pieces of evidence, when I put it together with what I already know, tells me, oh, that sounds like pizza. Mmm, who wants a piece of pizza right now? All right. Right, we're gonna do something 
a little more than what we have been doing. We're going to read a passage that's a little longer. And now we're going to put it together and we're going to put it into writing. We're going to use what we know and our evidence from the text to write a paragraph about our inference. So let's read this. The lights went dark as the music began. I snuggled down in my seat and stared at the big screen. I popped a piece of popcorn in my mouth and took a sip of my soda. So if we look here, I'm going to move this over so we can refer back to it. If we look here, our question is, where is this story taking place? Used textual evidence to support your answer. And I know, being in third grade, that you know how to use sentence starters as well. All right, so our question is, where is this story taking place? What can we infer? Well, I'm, they're snuggled down in a seat, there's a big screen, there's a piece of popcorn, and they took a sip of their soda. If you're inferring that they're at the movies, then you're right. So now we're going to take that information and we are going to put it into writing. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to start our paragraph about our inference. So I'm going to say, I can infer that They are at the movies. Now, this is where my evidence comes into place because I have to be able to support my answer. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to look at my passage and in my text and I'm going to find where it says that I know they're at the movies. So let's look. It was dark. There was a big screen. I took a piece of popcorn. I love popcorn from the movies. It's the best. And a sip of my soda. So I have four pieces of evidence that tell me that they're at the movies. So using what I already know about writing, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put in my evidence by saying I know this because the text states and that's that important sentence starter that you've learned with your writing especially when we have to show our evidence from a text. The text states that there is a big screen popcorn and soda And because I took it from the text, I always, 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 always have to remember that I have to use quotation marks because that tells me that it is evidence from the text. So when we're done, we have, I can infer that they are at the movies. I know this because the text states that there is a big screen, popcorn, and soda. So this, when you put what you know together with your evidence, you get an inference. All right, boys and girls, I've added some links to your teacher, your classroom Google. So there's some activities you can do online. There's a study island assignment and there'll be a study island assignment. If you have any trouble, there's some YouTube videos you can watch for extra support. Have a great day and I'll see you next week.